So hello, yes, we're back again and we're back on the van. Yeah, I hear you all say. I hope you've enjoyed the last week's few videos with the, the van tour and then off to the Birmingham NEC. As it happens, I didn't release the camper van and motorhome show NEC video. I thought you'd be more interested in getting on with this camper conversion. Drop it in the comments below if you do want me to release that video. Cheers. I had nothing to show you to do with the van because I haven't done anything for the last week or so. I've had the seats lowered. I'm going to give you a closer look at what's happening there. Um, I'm going to have to pull those out. I've got to spray them. And then we're going to look at getting this bit of floor back in. But I promise you that this is it now. This is the big final push towards getting this van complete. Can't dilly dally anymore. I'm plucking up the courage. I'm plucking up the energy. And we are going to get it done. Now then, let me show you what we're working on today. If you're new here, I'm Aidy, single dad to my twins, John and Ella. We're home educating and living life our way. Years ago, I worked as an underwater cameraman in Thailand where I met their mom. We tragically lost her at the birth in Bangkok, but our journey wasn't about to stop there. We're now converting our big van, a Mercedes Sprinter, getting ready for new adventures across Europe and beyond. Join us as we build, explore, and live our lives to the full. So how do you like the new intro? I think it was about time we had an update, hey? That's why I haven't used it recently, because it was a little bit behind. Anyway, let's take a look at what's going on down here. So I did show you before that James has lowered this seat base, and obviously we've got welds to contend with. I'm gonna have to clean up and uh, spray those so we don't have any issues in the future. He also did my driver's seat, and he's adjusted the handbrake, so it all works beautifully with the swivel, and I have now gained my four centimeters that I lost when I put the swivels on and it's a much better height. He has also brought Ella's seat down in height now so it's just above the floor level when it goes in which is perfect and you all have noticed I've got Ella's sweet, uh, sweet seat swiveling because it wasn't working when we got it there we go it's locked in but I've managed to fix the cable underneath there and that is all operational. So this is not going to be, like I've said before, a video with one big piece getting done. It's going to be a little bit bitty. I'm going to look at taking those seat bases out. I'm going to hang them up in my workshop. I'm going to spray them periodically throughout the day. I'm going to look at, uh, I'm going to cut this floor back, I've decided. Even though I built the floor here to accommodate the kitchen, after looking at designs at the Birmingham NEC, see it was worth going there, I knew it was, it's better to cut that out and then I will build the kitchen down into the step. It looks better. It's a nicer finished article. So I'm gonna cut that out. And then once I'm getting the floor in there, when those are painted, I'm gonna be able to actually lay the flooring flooring, which I don't think I've ever showed you, but this is LVT flooring. It's just like I used to use at work when I was doing kitchens and bathrooms. It's all we ever used in kitchens and bathrooms. It's fantastic stuff, 100% waterproof. It's got a bit of weight to it, but I'm only doing this front section of the van to that blue line. Beyond that is a storage area and under the beds. So I'll be using some like industrial lino, like the stuff they use in um, wet rooms, in old folks homes and stuff. I can't remember the name of it. Pop it down below. It's like Altro, Altro or something like that. Altro flooring, like sparkly bits in it. If you know, drop it in the link below, please. If you know there's a place uh, where I could get it, drop it in the comments below that's what i meant drop a link in the comments below because uh, i don't know where to buy it from and i need to get a big piece of it to do that back end of the van and i'm also going to do some in the shower tray because i'm copying other youtubers with the way i'm going to do the shower so i think we need to pull these seat bases out oh oh i also think i will spray them and then i will also cover them in this carpet because I kind of have an idea eventually that I might build wooden boxes around them because I see that done and it really trims it up and it looks nice. I can blend it into the floor and it will blend into the rest of the furniture and I will be building a box around Ella's seat as well to hide all that nasty black stuff there and that might even be a nice little place to put a bed for the cat. Thinking of mittens now all the time you see. But if I don't have time to do the boxing and stuff before we leave and have to get out of this house then at least they'll be carpeted and they'll still look nice and cozy. So it doesn't take that long. I think it's a good idea. Let's get to it. Whoa, 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 no, no. Slow down, slow down. I can't work in this. 
First of all, I've got to clean out my workshop. <laughs> whoa, 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 no, stop, stop again, stop again, change of plan. You see, this is how my brain works, welcome to my world. No, be sensible. If I take the seat bases out and get them hung up in the garage where I normally spray stuff, which is just hanging off the rafters up there, I can get a coat, quick coat of zinc undercoat on there and they can be drying while I'm cleaning this. This is how you use time correctly, isn't it? Right, okay, let's take the seat bases out. Now, I know we've had this little discussion before, but I just want to get this done. I'm not going to move the camera around and talk too much. So you're getting a time lapse. So enjoy the music. Start it up. Right, there we go, looks like a mess. Please let this be the last time I have to take something off this van. I just wanna start putting things back on and then they stay on, like that shelf. I love that shelf, I made it and I put it there and it's staying there. I've had these seat bases off so many times, <laughs> I'm sick of it. This is the last time when they go in, the piece of wooden flooring goes in then I'll trim that floor, then my flooring flooring goes in, my LVT, and we start moving forwards. I can start battening walls and building things. Yes, yes, and I know what you're thinking, you've heard this before, and the next video I'm taking something else out. I promise, I promise. Even if I have to, I'm not gonna film it. You don't need to see this. <laughs> right, let's get these cleaned up, ready for spraying in the garage, then I'll clean the garage out. You don't need to see that either. So I'll pick up with you when um, I'm ready to start carpeting those probably and put that floor in at the front. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Okay, how about we do that magic before after thing? It's so much easier, let's do that. Oh, I have to click, don't I? Here we go. I always wanted to do that. Did it work? Brilliant. Right, we're clean, obviously. These have been washed. They're not sprayed yet. They've been washed down. I need to dry them as best I can, but to be honest, if they're gonna be dry enough to probably to paint properly, I should just leave them overnight. I'm not very good with patience and waiting, but if I'm gonna do it properly, which we are doing, this is gonna be our home, this van. No rust, no bad bits. I will let them dry overnight, okay? So in the meantime, I don't know. I'll get back to you. Uh, I made myself a thinking cup of tea, so now I've been able to figure out what I need to do next. I've got this that I made. Here's one I prepared earlier. This is the flooring that's going to go there. Oh, I can't get it around the handbrake right now. But that's designed to go there and fill that little void. So I've got to build some framework to go underneath that, probably hoover out a bit as well and have a clean, but build the framework and put some insulation in. So there's always plenty to do. I just wasn't thinking. A cup of tea always helps. Well, I started getting the hoover and everything out ready to do that. And then a friend came round, so we were chatting for 15, 20 minutes. And then did I mention I'm impatient? I've sprayed them. They're looking good. I couldn't wait. They have got um, a zinc spray over the areas where it's been welded. So as you can see, it looks pretty now. I will give them another coat of just my regular silver spray that's the right colour. Um, just because I will. I'll do that before I go to bed tonight because then it'll be well dry by tomorrow. Then I can carpet them and put them back in the van and put the seats back in. Then I can drive again and I'm never taking those seats out again as long as I live.
This was designed to be an incredibly precise fit. That's, that's lovely. So what I need to do there, I think, is um, I might actually just get a Sharpie and mark where it goes, and then I know where I've got to build my framework underneath. Sharpie. Okay. Now the problem I've got here is these funny bits that don't appear anywhere else in the van appear to be higher than everything else. Of course they are. Brilliant. One hour later. Right, I've got a plan. I just need to go and trim and cut and mess about with some wood. If you can see from there, there's these little notches I had to get over, which is why I've routed out these little bits here. And that seems to work perfectly. That's one piece. This is lit. That is spot on. Lady Roo. Hello. Hello, Mrs. How are you? Right then. I just got a phone call and uh, we were chatting for ages. So I'm running out of time today, but I've got a huge amount of routing to do on here. I think I've figured this out so I can have parts of the wood that are going to touch the floor while the rest is getting routed to go over these bits that stick up. So let's do it. Oh, Right, so these bits are going to touch the floor, which will support because it's a high traffic, uh, foot traffic area. So, it should go like that. And then be level across there. That looks to be doing exactly what I want it to do. But then I'll have to put spacers underneath here, which is the same as what I had to do over the rest of the floor. So, great. I am going to get some spacers and some Sikaflex. I am going to fix that down, put some weight on it. And that might be about as far as we get tonight. I might go back in the garage and spray the seats a little bit more. But uh, sun's going down. I think that's a good little afternoon's work, considering I've had about, it feels like almost two weeks off doing the van. And I need to really get moving on this now. So that's a nice little start. It's something that I've been looking at for months. It's bit, the van's looked like this. It's had this gap here and it's just one of those jobs. You know what I'm like about checking my jobs off my list? That'll be done forever, forgotten about. Oh, Then we'll have them seats back in. But I've talked about that already. So let's get this glued in and we'll probably call it a day. Right, it's down. Sorry I didn't film it. I was in a bit of a hurry. I forgot to put the camera on. But that's down. It's glued. It's got the board on top of it. It's got obviously lots of weight on top of it. That'll sit there till tomorrow. I might put another coat of paint on these this evening, which would mean tomorrow I can carpet these, get them back in, and then we'll put that bit of flooring in, and it'll be job complete. Job complete. See you in the morning. So we're on the following morning and uh, I did spray these last night and uh, they're looking really, really good, but that doesn't matter because we're going to cover them in carpet. And look who's joined us again, he's back, he's been a bit AWOL for a while. Hello, I'm back. <laughs> 
Uh, what we're going to do is use this tabletop and start getting some carpet on here. These are going back in, the seats are going back in, and you know the rest of the story, so let's do it. Okay, so we're going to get some carpet on these things, and as usual, uh, I just want to get on with this job. So I'm going to put you guys on a bit of music and chop through the video. And if anyone's wondering why it says it begins on the thumbnail, it's because, in my mind, this is the beginning of the final chapter of this build. We've been working on this thing for so many months, yet on the interior of the van, I mean, I know there's loads done, the wiring, the insulation, the flooring, the roof vents, all this stuff, but it's still just a big, empty van. So in my mind, when I put these in, because I've had them in and out so many times, when these go in today with the carpet on, they're never coming out again. This is when we start putting things in, like finished article, and they stay. Then the next finished article, and the next on top of that. And in my mind, this is where it really begins, and this is the home straight, which is still gonna take a couple of months, but. Uh, <laughs> right, I'll pop some music on for you, and uh, I'm gonna get these carpeted. Actually, sorry, one second. I just remembered. I was considering painting the inside of this one black because we're gonna have the black, <clears throat> well, anthracite carpet around the outside. But you're gonna be able to see in here, it's gonna be like a, just a dumping ground, shoe hole sort of thing. We'll chuck shoes and flip flops in there. But I kind of wanted it to match. And I'm not, I don't think I'm really gonna carpet the interior of it. Unless I do, I'll carpet it. Scratch that, carry on. As you were. Right, I don't know if anyone remembers me mentioning that under the seats, we're going to have a cold spot. We've insulated all this floor, but the square under the seat, there's nothing there. So what I've done is I've got a sheet of Kingspan 25 mil. Oops, just like we've got everywhere else on the floor. I had to make it up out of little pieces because you know I don't have any left. And what I'm doing is I'm going to carpet it and it wedges perfectly down inside the seat. And uh, yeah. I thought that was a great idea. As long as it fits. Oh dear, we've broken that. So there we go. Obviously it's not in place yet, but that wedges down inside there. That is going to be there when it gets in. And that'll be our little cubby hole. It's all nicely carpeted out. And the bottom is insulated. So I'm quite chuffed with that. Then for the other side, when we get to it, I'm thinking uh, once I've carpeted it, I'll put the, uh, seat base in position down here then I'll draw around it with a sharpie on the inside and then I'm going to stick some of this stuff down because there's no room look at all the electrics there's no room to put kingspan in there plus I don't have any left at all now I've used every last scrap but I can stick some of this down inside there and it should be all good I've also I've cut out a hole here in the next piece of carpet as you can see such a neat job that's done with the um, soldering iron very good huh but that was to allow for this bit that sticks out for the handbrake. Can you see it? And then it just occurred to me, why don't I paint that black? Then I don't have to worry about getting carpet on it or anything like that. So I've just sprayed it. So now I'm waiting for that. I think, well, I'm waiting for that to dry and then I'll put a second coat on. I am going to look at the insulation. Sorry, backwards and forwards here. I need some insulation, don't I? In these battens here, because there's insulation under here, there's insulation in there, we need insulation under there. Insulation everywhere. The more, the merrier. So yeah, let's get that quickly cut in, shall we? John's bobbed off for a lunch break. He's a loud one. I'm not stopping. <laughs>
Right, I'm happy with that. That's nicely insulated. And then of course, there's gonna be a little gap between the front mat, that's the original, and this floor that I'm making. So I'm just gonna put some sort of high density rubber foam of some kind. I'll find something, cut it, trim it, make it fit. And then you can buy just off eBay cheap as a carpet that goes, that's designed to go right through the whole front there. It's also black, so it's gonna tie in very nicely, I think. Transforming the place. Right then, that paint has dried. So I can get that seat base onto here and we can get the carpet on there. Do you wanna watch another carpet going on? Right, mission success. Did you notice John burning out the little holes with the uh, soldering iron? And what I have managed to do is, it's a bit crude, but I have got some of that insulation stuck in around there. It's the, best, it's the best I can do without taking all that electrics out. I'm not taking all that electrics out. <laughs> it's ready to go back in. I'm very excited. Let's see if we can get you guys in a comfy place and uh, I'm sorry it's all time lapse and uh, jumpy jumpy without much talking. Unless, I mean, I do talk a lot, so we'll see. But uh, we're getting loads done, you see. We're getting loads done. <laughs> We had to stop that time lapse just so you could see this look. What is it, John? Seat base. <laughs> that is that bit of insulation I showed you covered in carpet. And that is our little cubby hole down in there. Oh, John, we need the plastic thing covering that thing, uh, that hole. Do you know where it is? All right, look at that then. That's looking fan blooming tastic. I am very, very happy. So next, um, I've got to put this piece of floor in, fix it down. That should be a very quick and easy job. Let's do it. Oh, that is snug. That is nice. Right, that's it, staying in. Oh my goodness. All right, there we go. Handbrake has been trimmed up, the plastic's at the bottom so it'll fit over the new floor when it goes in. I am running out of power everywhere. My camera, my microphones, but, I really feel like carrying on. I'm in the mood. Will you come with me? I don't know how long, I'd have no idea how long this video is already because I've been filming, I turn it on, I turn it off and I don't know how much I've recorded. I have to, I think I mentioned it before, I'm going to cut this out and do it differently to how I was originally going to and I will build the kitchen down into there. Um, so I'm going to do that because then I'm actually going to be able to lay the floor. I'll just have to unbolt Ella's seat and then I can lay some flooring. I really want to see it in. Are you with me? Should we do this? Right, I'm gonna have a cup of tea and I'm gonna put some things on charge and hopefully we've got enough power to see this out. Let's do it. As I said before, I have no idea how long this video is going to be. So I hope it's all right for you. If it's too long, let me know in the comments, please. Or if you're happy with longer videos, also let me know down in the comments, because I know sometimes I end up running up to 30 minutes. I always felt a YouTube video is good around about 20 minutes, pushing it at 25. But I've had a few recently where they run over to like 30, because I just keep filming and this talking far too much. So I'm going to shut up now. I'm going to put you over here, put you on maybe yet another time lapse, because it allows me to get the work done, and we're going to get the work done.
Okie dokie. As you can see, it's getting dark outside. I've got a light up in the van, but I am taking care of this. We're only going halfway. This was my old bread and butter, putting floors down like this in bathrooms and kitchens when I was doing uh, my renovation job. So in theory, it should be relatively quick. I used to be able to lay a floor like this, this sort of size, you know, in a couple of hours, easy. So I reckon, we'll have it done in an hour, maybe. Start it up. Right, as you can see, it's quite dark. I'm so sorry, the power cut out. I thought it might do, I did warn you. But have a look at this. Hi folks, it is the next morning and I ran out of camera battery and I ran out of me battery. I was working into the night. I wasn't gonna come out with the camera late at night and start trying to film this for you. So I thought you could wait till morning. Is That's okay, isn't it? Look at this. Doesn't it look spectacular? I am so, so happy how it ties in with this uh, dark carpeting we've got. Obviously I've got a seat cover on this one for now, but I think it looks absolutely lovely. It's just the look I was going for. I'm looking forward to having a splash of color up these walls, but more of the carpet potentially down the sides of here. That's still undecided. Um, yeah, couldn't be happier. I am going to end this video now, guys, because I think it's long enough. I, like I said to you yesterday, I have no idea. I just film stuff. We'll find out in the edit, won't we? If you haven't, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button. It helps us out loads. This thing's growing so well. And uh, if you've got any comments or anything to say, please tell me, would you have used this sort of flooring? It is quite heavy. Most people use lino for that reason, but I think I'm going to have to upplate this van anyway. If anyone's got any experience with upplating vans, I'd be very interested as well. So let me know down in the comments. Tell me anything you want. Otherwise, I'm going to see you next week and you'll be seeing what it is I'm going to get on with today. So see you later, guys. Bye bye.